All right, guys, well, thanks for coming to the first Bible Club. I know my family, you guys, my family was forced to come. But hopefully you guys have fun anyway. And I really hope that it does become something a little bit bigger. I love to do something more for the kids. And, you know, this is not something that I, uh, you know, have necessarily a knack for. But, you know, uh, we, we'll get something started and as we do it, you know, hopefully we'll get better at it and, you know, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get a better feel for how we can um, help the kids have a, have a fun time learning some things from the Bible. So, uh, welcome. You guys get to experience the first Bible club of the church in Liverpool. Uh, so sit, maybe you can sit up properly, Timothy, and sit up straight. All right, first of all, let's, uh, let's just start with a word of prayer. Okay, so let's sit properly because we're going to talk to God now. Let's put our hands together. This is how we pray. We close our eyes so we're not distracted. And let's, let's pray. All right, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time where we can learn a bit about the Bible. I pray, Lord, that you help the children to understand, bless this time, help them to have fun with the activity later. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> all right, first up, kids, some rules. Okay, what are the rules for Bible Club? I've just got three for you today. One is I want you to sit quietly. Okay, if you sit quietly, then you'll get to participate. If you don't sit quietly, then I'm going to have to get your parents to come and tell you off, right? You guys too. I'm going to get mommy to come and tell you guys off. <laughs> Second rule is I want you to pay attention. Okay, so you guys know my name's Victor. Who am I in the church? What's my role? Do you want to the bishop, isn't it? So when the bishop's talking, children quiet, paying attention. And the third rule I have today is when you want to say something, I want you to put your hand up. Yeah, see, Simon's got it right. So let's just make sure our hands are working. Want to put your hand up? Want to put your hand down? Put your hand up again? How many of you want to try and put your hand up? Yeah, <laughs> it's working. So we, our hands are working. So if I ask a question and you want to say something, you need to put your hand up. Right? You put your hand up and then I'll choose you and then you can answer the question. All right, that's the rules for today. Now today, we're going to be learning about the book of Genesis. So we're going to go through one book of the Bible each week. We're going to learn some stories. Simon's excited about Genesis. Now Genesis is the first book of the Bible. If you flip through your Bible, you see the first book of, is Genesis, and Genesis is a book about beginnings, isn't it? So it tells us about how God created the world, how God created us, and how you know, the, the first nation of Israel, the nation of Israel was created in, in Genesis as well, how that started. That's what we learn about in the book of Genesis. That's what the book means. Can we say that together? Genesis. Let's try again. I can't hear you. Genesis. Very good. That's what we're learning about today. Now, let me ask you a question. I don't know if you guys know the answer. But why do we have seven days in the week? Right, we've got Monday, Tuesday. Who knows the days of the week? Simon, all right. Simon, do you want to read the days of the week for me? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wow, very good. So who knows why we have seven days in the week? You want to put your hand up if you know the answer? Why is there seven days in the week? Sarah, do you know the answer? Why? <laughs> so you just wanted to put your hand up? Well, the reason why there's seven days in the week is because God created the, all the world in seven days, didn't he? He took six days and then he rested one day. Now, some people think, why did God take so long? Well, why, did he, why did he create the world so quickly? In just seven days, one week, God created everything that we see. But then I think, why, why did God take so long? You know, God, did you know that God can just speak and things get created? So why did he take so long? Well, he took seven days so that we would have a seven-day working week. Did you know that God can just create things by talking? I mean, if, I think if Simon created things by talking, I mean, he'd be creating things all the time, wouldn't he? <laughs> but it's difficult for us to create things by talking. If I just said, let there be light, would there be light? Let's try that now. If I turn the lights off, 
And I say, let there be light. Yeah, I can't do that. But did you know, did you know God can do that? God can just speak and things get created. But the reason why he took seven days is so that we have seven days of the week now. We have a pattern that we can follow. Now, did you, did you know, kid, did you know, I don't know if you knew this, but do you know that there are some people that don't believe that God created the whole world? Isn't that a bit silly? Isn't that a bit silly for people to think that there's a world, but nobody created it? Let me ask you, can, can you think of anything in your house that wasn't made by anybody? Can anybody think of something? If you have something that you can think of in your house that wasn't made by anybody, it just came from nowhere, it wasn't made, can you think of something? No, because everything we see, even in this, is there anything in this building? If you look around in this building, look, have, have a look around, have a look around. Is there anything that you can see that's not made by somebody? No, everything's made by somebody. What's this? Who can tell me what this is? Chair. Well, sh what, remember what one of the rules were? If we want to say something, we'll put our hand up. So put your hand up if you want to say something. Okay, it's, uh, I don't remember your name. Zephy, can you tell me what this is? A chair. Now, do you think somebody made this chair? Yeah, somebody makes chairs, don't they? They don't just, they don't just come into existence on their own. Somebody makes it. All right, who can tell me what this is? Hand up. All right, Timothy. Uh, it's a bicycle. Do you know how to ride a bicycle? I think you can ride a bicycle. <laughs> Did somebody make the bicycle? Is it made by somebody? No, it is made by somebody, TV. Somebody made the bicycle. It didn't come on its own. What about this? Put your hand up if you know what this is. Sarah, okay. Okay, Sarah, you have to wait till I choose you, okay? You put your hand up. Let's try again. Put your hand up. Hey, right, Sarah. It's a robot. That's right. Who's got, who's got a robot toy in their house? Right. You got a robot toy? You guys, you guys don't have any robot toys. <laughs> well, we got plenty of robot toys in our house. And let me tell you something, somebody always makes that robot, right? No, it doesn't come about by nothing. Somebody has to make these toys. So let me ask you, when it comes to us, doesn't it make sense that somebody made us? Aren't we a lot like a robot, if you think about it? We have arms, we have legs, but do you know we are a lot more complicated than a robot? You know, can a robot do this? A robot can't think for itself. You know, when a robot walks, it's like this, isn't it? That's how a robot walks. How does a robot dance? I don't know. <laughs> but a robot can't do what I'm doing today, can he? So you see how we're a lot more complex than a robot. Now, if somebody made the robot, doesn't it make sense that somebody made you and I? So that's what Genesis is about. Genesis is about God making us. And you know what? God loves us he, when he created God, our creator, he wants to have a relationship with us. But unfortunately, we're sinners, aren't we? We've done wrong. You know, we deserve a punishment. But God loved us so much that he stepped into creation as Jesus Jesus died on the cross for our sins. This is how much God loves us, that he took on flesh, died on the cross for our sins, and all we have to do to be saved is what do we have to do? Who knows the answer? What do we have to do to be saved? Simon? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. Okay, so today's Bible verse is going to come from Genesis. This is today's Bible verse. Genesis 1.5. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. If you know how to read, let's read it together. You ready? One, two, three. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Genesis 1. Okay, so I hope you learned something there today. 
You know, that we learn that God created the whole world in seven days. That's why we have a seven-day week. Some people don't believe that God created the world, but it's a little bit silly, right? Because everything we see has a creator. So we have a creator as well. And that creator, you know, died for us, wants to save us. And that's why Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. So we've got an activity for you guys today. So that your parents are going to help you do it. And Elizabeth's going to show you what we're going to do today. But we're going to make a little day-night dial today. So you're going to write, you're going to trace Genesis 1-5 on a piece of paper. I'll just show you here. We don't really have an example, but that's what we want to do today. <laughs> See, so I've got these pieces of paper here. Genesis 1-5 on there, so you're going to trace that and we're going to put it on a plate and we've got an activity for you today where we're going to make a plate that has day and night and you can spin the plate but Elizabeth's going to help you guys do that. So why don't we all get out of our seats, let's go to the back table and then Elizabeth if you want to, uh, uh, I'll go get the plates, if you want to just get the kids organised and then we can get them to this. 